Hello, welcome to Tech Straight. If you feel a little overwhelmed by some of the tech laying around the house, maybe don't know what to do with some of those old smartphones after those upgrades, uh, they make excellent Wi-Fi devices and uh, you can actually use them for quite a wide variety of things. So today we're going to help you get your tech straight. Get everything straightened out and uh, learn how to use some of the devices you have around the house for some alternative purposes. So what we're going to be doing today is turning an Android smartphone into a wireless security camera or monitor capable of both video and audio transmission over your Wi-Fi network. So that's pretty cool actually. And uh, instead of throwing away those old phones, you can turn them into security cameras. So we're going to be working on this Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphone device. And so in, in doing that, we're going to find what we need in the Google Play Store. So let's go ahead and open that up and click on the search. And let's type in IP webcam. All right. And there you go. You'll see that first in the list. IP webcam, uh, the developer's name, uh, a great rating there and also the circular icon next to it, uh, the camera lens. And go ahead and click on that. You will see the next screen pop up. Let's just go ahead and click on the install button. Then you'll need to click accept and uh, I promise your phone is not gonna blow up. Everything's cool. <laughs> just go ahead and click accept. All right, it downloads very quickly. Uh, it's a small app. You'll see that a shortcut was created, uh, most likely on your main desktop or one of them. Uh, if you don't see it there, you can always go to your app drawer and find it. You'll just look for this icon. Uh, for now, we're just going to click open. And here you will see the IP webcam interface. You'll see a few things that you can change around, uh, but just for simplicity's sake, we're going to leave everything the way it is. So let's go ahead and swipe up. Uh, you'll see a few different things there. Uh, take note of the port number. Uh, you don't really have to worry about it if you're just setting up one, but if you're going to be doing uh, multiple cameras, you'll want to change that port number on the uh, secondary cameras so that each one has a different port number. And uh, let's go ahead and click on Start Server down at the bottom. Now you'll see that the device flips and uh, is using the camera now. That's why the screen has went black. And so uh, we will go ahead and show you what that looks like. All right, and you can see that it has an IP address there. Uh, go ahead and take note of that IP address and we're going to be using that in the second part of this video and uh, that's what's going to allow you to stream it to your home PC. Uh, I'll probably do another tutorial on how to stream uh, this video and audio uh, from your smartphone to another smartphone and uh, that's going to require another app called uh, Tiny Cam Monitor. Uh, so but what we're going to do right now is just focus on getting it on the computer because uh, it's just a nice easy project and you can see that the camera is actually uh, picking up things here you can see that and uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and pause and just come back in just a minute and I'll show you how to uh, view this on your PC okay we're back so let's go ahead and get that footage from the smartphone camera to the computer and uh, Let's make sure that when you do this, that you type in the IP address that is on the smartphone that you have rather than the one that I have. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Uh, but for me, it is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.113 colon 8080. And it's very important that you type that in exactly. Okay. And yours will probably be very similar to mine. Uh, most likely you'll have a different number here. Uh, just make sure that you type it in exactly as it appears on IP webcam on your smartphone. 
let's go ahead and hit enter and you will see this page come up so what you want to do here uh, is go ahead and just use the one that says use JavaScript to update frames in browser it's going to be this one okay and there are some other things you can do here too uh, but for now we're going to just keep it simple and show you how to view it uh, in your browser on your computer because that's just going to make it nice and easy for you uh, so we'll go ahead and click on that and for now you just see a black box pop up and that is because we've got the phone laying on the table now as I begin to move it uh, you will see the uh, image begin to change and there you have it footage wirelessly and it's pretty cool I think and you can also click on uh, this button up here for that says click here to play audio with browser so you can actually hear what's going on in the area where the uh, camera is located so it's pretty neat and uh, that's pretty much it so uh, you know if you have any questions you know feel free to uh, send me a message uh, you can also check out the uh, like page at uh, on Facebook and we also made it really convenient for you to view the videos you can just go to uh, techstraight.com that's T-E-K S-T-R A-I-G-H-T techstraight.com and uh, that'll just take you to the YouTube page so we're just setting everything up so everything's a little light at the moment uh, but as time progresses there will be more videos so if you uh, got something out of this just uh, do us a favor and press like and subscribe on the YouTube video itself uh, if you viewed it on Facebook go ahead and uh, open it up on YouTube and give us a thumbs up on it we really appreciate it and uh, so we thank you once again and uh, I'd also like to say hello to some uh, Facebook friends of ours uh, that kind of inspired this first video uh, we've actually been using the IP webcam to keep an eye on some uh, animals we have outside we actually raise goats yes I said goats and uh, we've got one that is getting ready to have some kids so it's been really neat to be able to just uh, keep an eye on her make sure that she's okay and uh, not have to go out to the barn every five minutes so it's pretty cool and uh, so I just wanted to say hi to uh, those of you who asked for this uh, information and also thank you for doing such a great job taking care of all your animals and uh, for those of you that uh, like to rescue animals the way we do, uh, much love to you. So go ahead and check us out later. We'll have some more videos. And uh, once again, thanks and God bless. Bye-bye.